how's it going guys? So I am back with another video and today is actually going to be the first, uh, I guess, tested out lifestyle type of video on my channel. We're going to be doing, for a month to see how it works out, we're going to be doing, uh, instead of two cooking videos a week, we're going to do one cooking video a week, like one recipe video, and one sort of like lifestyle, uh, vegan lifestyle or just like lifestyle in general type of video. And this is the first one. So today I'm going to be doing a 15 things you didn't know about me or 15 facts. Uh, down below I will link, or up here, I will also link... Um, I think it's like 20 facts about myself on my second channel, uh, which I did a while ago. So we're just going to go straight into it. Uh, number one is I am, uh, I have it written down by the way, <laughs> so I don't forget. Number one is I am a super indecisive person. Like it's so hard for me to decide on anything. Food, I can't make up my mind. Uh, Clothes, I can't make up my mind. Hair, especially you guys have seen, if you guys have been with me for a while, you've seen how many different hairstyles and, and stuff I've gone through because I could never make up my mind on what I want. So, number two, um, I worked at a haunted house for two Halloween seasons um, when I was, I don't know, like 22 and 23 or something like that. And it was so much fun. I had a blast. It was, um, for those of you guys who are familiar um, with like Pennsylvania uh, haunted houses, it was the uh, Eastern State Penitentiary, and um, which was like the first real like penitentiary in the country. And they do haunted houses, and we did that there. And um, it was a blast. I had so much fun. Um, so yeah, and because I'm really into like, oh, so there's a little bonus. I'm really into like those weird kind of like creepy, scary kind of stuff. Oh, where's Chris going? I see Chris heading over to the bodega, I think, and <laughs> going to the corner store. Um, anyways, um, number three is I enrolled into college at 16. Um, so basically, I actually left uh, high school, aka slash dropped out when I was... Uh, 14, I believe. I started when I was 13. Uh, bad choices, bad choices. But then um, I actually homeschooled and finished way faster than I was supposed to even in high school, um, like going to an actual school. So I finished when I was 16. I enrolled when I was 16. Um, and I started like a month before I turned 17. And yeah. So uh, number four is uh, I'm really good at memorizing numbers. I'm like, I'm really good at memorizing like my debit card number, Chris's debit card number, everybody's social security number. Um, like I memorize numbers super fast for no reason. I don't even know why. It just it just happens, you know. I'm like, okay, this is the da 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 da. I don't need to ever have the card with me when I'm ordering something online or anything like that. I always know all of the numbers to all of our cards, all of our debit cards, and account numbers, all that stuff. I know them at the top of my head. And it just comes really easy. Uh, number five is I am a morning person. I'm a super morning person, early bird. I'm super like jolly and chipper. And uh, Chris is not a morning person. So whenever I wake up and I'm just like, la 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 la, really like everybody's kind of like giving me this like side eye and like, why are you so jolly? Um, not all the time, but most of the time I wake up pretty jolly. Um, number six. I have no tattoos, but I have had well over 25 piercings at the moment. I have eight, like currently in, um, and uh, yeah, but no tattoos. Like I said, I'm really indecisive, which is why I've never gotten a tattoo, but I absolutely love tattoos. But I have never been able to decide on a tattoo and think, oh, I'm going to want that forever. Because chances are, two weeks after I get it, I won't want that anymore. Uh, number seven is I dislike sweets and that's probably making it sound like too extreme I don't like sweets but it's more like I like sweets but I'll have like one bite two max and then I'm like okay that's good enough like when it comes to Oreos like I'll have like one I think Chris walking back so I'll have uh, like one Oreo two Oreo and I'm like okay I've had it <laughs> sometimes I have half an Oreo and I'm, I'm like that's it uh, number eight my middle name is Marie, so my name is Rosemary, and um, some people used to call me Rosemary, which got on my nerves, <laughs> and uh, some people call me Rosemary, and I don't like that either, because my name is just Rose, and Marie is my middle name, so I've always felt weird about people calling me by my middle name, 
Um, and then, number nine is, I hate math. I've always hated math, but I love science and arts. And it's weird that I hate math because I memorize numbers so well. But, I don't know, something about math I never liked. So, number ten is... We live in Philly, so we're constantly hearing sirens and fire alarms and all that kind of stuff. So, or si yeah, fire sirens or whatever. So, number 10 is I hated Barbies growing up. Like, I had this weird, like, I just could not stand Barbies. Uh, I love baby dolls, but Barbies were just like, no thanks. And my mom would get them for me all the time because she wanted me to play with more girly things. But I just did not like them. And then my brother, my older brother, which is eight years older than me, used to actually help me shave their hair and like draw on them and paint them and all this crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, I just didn't like them. But I didn't want anybody touching my baby dolls because my baby dolls were precious to me. Number 11 is my career of choice growing up was to become a veterinarian. So I wanted to be a veterinarian uh, so bad, so, so, so bad. Um, I think I might have touched on this on the other uh, uh, facts about me video and the reason I didn't actually become a veterinarian, didn't, pers didn't pursue the veterinary thing is because I um, was like allergic to everything. I got like an allergy test and I was allergic to uh, all, but, uh, all but three I believe it was or all but two and I needed to go in and get like a shot um, every week or every two weeks or something like that uh, to become like I guess like immune to my allergies and uh, for like five years and I was like no that 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 like just that made me not want to become a veterinarian anymore number 12 is I fractured my nose walking into a glass wall while on a liquor promotional modeling job <laughs> when I was 21 I used to do promotional modeling and um, I was doing a promotional modeling gig for a liquor company and um, we were, needless to say, they would give us uh, samples all the time. So we had samples, I was working, getting a little drink here and there. And then I had like heels and I had my little skimpy uniform and whatever. So I'm walking, getting ready to leave and I smashed my face into uh, hold on baby, I smashed my face into the wall, which was glass, fractured my nose, it was not fun. And yes, there were people around, and no, I wasn't really that embarrassed. I'm the type of person that if I get hurt in public or fall or something, I'll laugh it off. I have really tough skin, and I don't embarrass easily. Um, so yeah, I didn't really get embarrassed, but it was painful, so yeah. Number 13 is my first job was at Walmart. So I worked at Walmart for the first three months. I'm sorry, I, I worked for three months at Walmart and I must say I hated, I hated that job, uh, especially uh, working here in, in Philly uh, in one of the Walmarts that are not in a great area to begin with. It was just, it was a nightmare dealing with people was a nightmare. And I'm not a big fan of uh, dealing with a lot of people on a daily basis. And that was just, that was no fun, no good. Number 14 is I failed my driver's test the first time I went because I was driving with one hand and I didn't realize that I was driving with hand, one hand and taking the turns with one hand um, and kind of like letting go of the steering wheel uh, as the steering wheel would roll back and uh, so yeah I failed it because of that and the lady told me at the end she's like you whoever taught you how to drive you learned bad habits from them and she basically gave me like this huge lecture and I told my brother I'm like listen she said you taught me how to drive wrong <laughs> but uh but yeah, so I, next time I went, I went like two weeks later or a week later and I did it and the whole time I was like, two hands, two hands, two hands, two hands, and I passed it and uh, yeah. Number 15, something that I just discovered about myself recently and I wanted also to share with you guys, and this is the last one, last but not least, is my hair has never ever been this curly in my life. I don't know how in the world my hair got to be, to be this curly as I got older. Um, but even when I was a kid, like my hair was kind of like Mia's where it's like 
it's like soft curls um and just recently my hair just became so so curly uh by the way i cut my hair all off um i did like a big chop kind of thing um to get my hair growing naturally curly and healthy because i dyed it so many times if you guys go back to like my videos through my videos you'll see that I had like a different color hair every couple videos and that was like bleaching and dying and bleaching and dying and straightening and my hair was just like fried so anywho that is that let me know if you guys would be more into more uh, interested in seeing more lifestyle videos like this on this channel the second channel I'm gonna keep it more for like vlogs and stuff like that um, so this channel is gonna be uh, well, for the next month or so, I'm going to test it out and see how it goes and how you guys like it uh, with one recipe and one lifestyle video. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.